Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we explain how to install from scratch Jazzy Jalisco ROS2 distributions. Namely, over here you can see active ROS2 distributions. They are humble hug spell. This is a relatively old active ROS2 distribution and it will be expiring or the end of life date will be in May 2027. Then, you also have Iron Irvini and the release date is May 23, 2023 and the expiration date is November 2024. Consequently, I don't suggest to anyone to install Iron Irvini currently. The newest distribution called Jazzy Jalisco is released on May 23, 2024, that's about a month ago, and end of life date is May 2029. In this tutorial, we explain how to install Jazzy Jalisco. Here is the main web page of the Jazzy Jalisco. Now, before you even try to install Jazzy Jalisco, it's very important to make sure that you have the proper operating system. Now, if you read here, ROS2 Jazzy or Jazzy Jalisco requires Ubuntu Noble 24.04 and this is very important. This means if you don't have Ubuntu Noble 24.04, better don't install this version since you're going to lose time. Of course, there might be different tricks to make ROS2 Jazzy work on different Ubuntu operating systems. However, my suggestion is not to do that. Another suggestion that I have to new ROS2 users is not to install through Windows Virtual Machines. Okay, so let's first verify that we have the proper Ubuntu distribution. Let's first verify our Ubuntu distribution. Open a new terminal. Okay, now I will resize this window such that you can see what I'm typing over here. To verify the Linux distribution, you need to type this lsb underscore release dash a and you can see your current Linux distribution. In my case, it is Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. LTS means stable release. And this is exactly what's being required over here. And the code name is Noble. Now, since it is currently June 2024, you don't have any number after 04. However, in the future you may see a few numbers over here, that's still fine. The main thing is Noble and the main, another main thing that it's 24.04. Okay, let's continue. The first thing you need to do, you need to set up the system. We need to have a system that supports UTF-8. To do that, we need to execute this part over here. Okay, so let's do that. I will simply copy and paste the commands given over here. So let's start. Okay, I can see it already over here, but let's make sure that actually our system will support it. Although this might not be necessary, still run it in order to keep everything in order and to follow the tutorial. Okay, the next command is this one. Then the next command is this one. Then we need to do this. And finally, we need to do this. Okay, and you can see UTF-8. However, also at the beginning, we had UTF-8. The next step is to enable required repositories. We first need to add the ROS2 app repository to our system and we need to make sure that Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. Okay, so we need to execute this command first. And you can see that it's already installed and let's run this to enable Ubuntu Universe. And let's press enter. Now, there's another way to verify this. You can do, you can click here and then you can search for update, software updates. And the software update should also have interesting information 
about what is installed in the system. However, I'm not going to do it in this tutorial. Let's continue, not to waste time. Now we need to add the ROS2 GPG key with apt. For that purpose, we first need to install curl, although curl might also be installed in the system, but let's try it. Okay, next we need to execute this command. Okay, then we need to add the repository to our source list. And here it is. Next, we need to install the development tool. This is actually optional, however, let's do it. And let's click on yes. This might take some time. And you can see the progress over here. So be patient. This should not take a long time. However, if your system is relatively slow, if you have a bad internet connection, this might take some time. Okay, the next step is to install ROS2. First of all, before you install anything, you need to run sudo apt update. This is a standard command in Linux. And after that, you need to run sudo apt upgrade. These two commands are pretty much standard commands. However, they always need to be run before you do something. Now, to install a ROS2, you have two options. You have this desktop version that will include ROS, RVs, demos, and tutorials. And I strongly suggest to everyone to install the desktop version. On the other hand, if you have re limited resources, you can also install a barebone version. That is, you can just install base ROS without libraries, message packages, command lines, tools, etc. We are not going to install the barebone version. We are going to install full version. That is, we'll run sudo apt install ROS Jazzy desktop. So let's do that. And let's do yes. Now, this will take some time. And be patient. And basically, that's it. After several minutes, we installed ROS to Jazzy Jalisco. Now, it's always a good practice to verify the installation. The best strategy to verify the installation is to try some examples. So what are the examples that we usually try? It's a tradition in ROS2 and ROS communities to run the so-called talker listener example. So what is a talker and listener example? The talker listener example will actually initiate two nodes. One node will be the talker node that will send some string over a certain topic to another node and another node will receive that message and display it on the screen. So this is what we'll run. Now, if you follow this tutorial, they will put you this final step which is setup environment. The setup environment means that you simply source the setup.bash file in the optros jazzy folder however this is not necessary to do in this window since we are not going to use this terminal window to run ros2 and to test examples we will open a new terminal and then we will source the environment okay so let's do that click over here then the first step is always to source the environment so let's do that cool and let's run the talker node to run the talker node, we'll simply run ROS2, run demo nodes, CPP talker. And let's see what will happen. Okay, so you see what's happening over here. We are publishing hello world 1, hello world 2. That is, we are publishing the string hello world, and we have this counter that's continuously increasing. Okay, let's run the listener node. Click over here to open a new terminal, and let's run the listener node. First of all, source the environment and let's run the listener node and notice here one very interesting thing this is actually a listener node written in python okay and this is a cool thing because we can have nodes written in cpp or python and they all work together 
Okay, and let's see what is happening. Here it is. I heard hello world 46, 47, 50. So you see currently we have 53 and here was the 53. So every one second we submit this message, hello, hello world. And that's it. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. That's all and see you in the next video.